Well, I am happy for you that you left Islam, my friend, and I hope your family will leave Islam soon as you did. More people uh, just read, just read and be educated. Just be educated. Yeah. All right. Thank you, my friend, for I calling. Think, you know, I really wait every day. I just open you. Uh, you know, I don't. Uh, you don't remember uh, which day I called you, but every mm. day, every day I open your uh, channel in the YouTube, and mm. every day reading some somebody. You you this debate every time you're making the video. It's more about about three and four hours. So every day I, after my work, come back home. It might die. So my videos, they, they help you. They help you to make decisions. I just to watch and wait. I just watch and wait. Do somebody come? Did somebody come to debate with you? And uh, really, hmm. uh, answer the questions. Hmm. She asked. You know, Maybe as long as question, long as long you left question. Islam, my friend. No, as long you left Islam, you know, you know, I am a Christian. My name is a Christian prince, and I would like to invite you to accept yeah. Jesus as your savior. What do you think? I need more, more proof. All right. More proof. Hmm. I just need more proof. I just need more. Uh, I want you to do this. You I see? Left Islam. Yeah, I understand. No, I understand. Two day. I agree with you. We should not accept a faith or believe without without being sure. I agree with you. We are not. We want to. We don't want to be the same as the Muslims, crazy people, right? I agree with you. But what what kind of a proof you are looking for? <clears throat> the first one is existing. It's what? Existing. Existing of what? Exists. That God is exist. You mean? Yeah. Well, you know, for me. Because, because, okay. Uh, let, 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 let us let us say let us say let us assume that God does not exist. Let us assume that God does not exist, because in order to prove something to be exist, we have to assume first that it's not exist in order to prove that He is exist. So, when a scientist he speak about matter and he says that there is something became a matter after was no matter you know you heard of something called the big bang right yeah okay yep. but they say that the big bang is the matter became exist after it was no matter correct yeah i mean isn't it, this is a crazy how there is no it's... matter and then the matter became to exist how explosion happened but there's no matter so you are trying to do the same you are saying to me well let us first prove that god is exist but the science no, which you use yes. yourself in your logic says that there is nothing was exist and then the matter came to exist and this is a crazy so if we assume that god does not exist and matter became exist as the science do we will look crazy for me the story is different i believe that there's nothing is called no matter was not exist we believe that god is exist and then every matter came to be existence because of him and there's nobody can prove that wrong, by the way, because simply all what the science says is crazy. As we, as we said, the Big Bang, they say to us something explode. How you say there's nothing, nothing, and then something explode? That's stupid to say. Uh, if there, either there is something or there's nothing. No, you, uh, I'm not totally denying what's existing. It, 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 it should be. It, uh, it, if I totally deny that there is some really existing, there is not existing, it's be more stupid. It's also ridiculous. It's like yeah. I'm denying okay, my friend. Uh, that I have you know, two hands. There's many people no, trying to trying I mean, to call. Let us do this, my friend. I don't know your name, but you can keep your name for yourself. Uh, I want you to listen to me okay. carefully. It's, and if you have any questions about the Bible or about Jesus, I will be happy to answer you. But we have a brother. His name is Sam Shamoon. And we have an agreement, me and you and him, that if somebody want to learn about the gospel, I will send him to him. You know, so if you want the people, they will post for you the link of brother Sam Shamoon because this is a specialty and my specialty is Islam. Anything you like to know about the Messiah, he will be happy to teach you. But however, to, to, to tell you in a very simple way how I know that God is exist. Hold on, hold on, my friend, hold on, hold on. You, you know, you, I, I believe that you don't deny God, as you said, right? You be, you have a feeling that the God I'm is good. Totally uh, right, okay, just, which is good, which is good. But look at this. You see, we have someone, his name is the Messiah. And this mm -hmm. Messiah, who is supposedly a normal person, as many people, they say, especially the Muslims, he is just a man. But this person, the second you believe in him, your life change. Your life change, even if you are a criminal, even if you are a hitman, if you, if you are a criminal who killed people. And then I need to explain to myself how somebody who is just a man, if I believe in him, 
he changed me from inside and I turned to be a new person and that is a proof that God is really powerful because look at me you know I know people I actually I, I met I met some people who became Christians they are literally criminals they used to be criminals this is what they do for living crimes the second they became Christians they became preachers very nice people very 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 friendly so how in the world you can change a criminal you see I have a degree in law and one of the study we do is a, is a, is a criminal science which means why a person he became a criminal so we, then we read what the atheists they say that there is some people they inherit some violence genes in their DNA and etc this is why some people they are violence and some people they are not blah 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 and then we study that in the winter time people they are not uh, violence as much as in summer time blah 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 but it doesn't matter this guy is the same guy he is a criminal all his life committing crimes going after people violence maybe he's a thief maybe he's a uh, uh, he killed many but yet the second he became a christian he changed that is a miracle because here we go science says it's in your dna which as i believe is a stupid to say even to say to say so but but science cannot explain some stuff happening to us around us and until now doctors who they are atheists when something they can't explain they call it a miracle so our god himself is a miracle he changed us from inside he is the miracle himself how i can be me after all what i was just because i believe in him today i became a new person this is why we christian we believe that when we believe in jesus we are reborn again we are not just by Okay, I'm, I'm born from a Christian family. That will not make me Christian. We don't believe in that Christianity. You are reborn again with Jesus. And the second you became reborn, you became a new person. New person in the belief, new person in the behavior, new, new, new person in your love, in your deal, in how, how, you, how you see the world. Even the vision of things around you will change. That is the proof for me that Jesus is my Lord. Same time, there's tons of proofs around us. Miracles happen every day in the name of Jesus. But I start with myself. I believe in Jesus and he changed me I am better than what I used to be the more I am far away from him the more I am worse a true believer in Jesus he will be an amazing person and the more he is close to the Lord the more he is be more amazing so you might find a Christian person he's a lot better than Christian Prince why because he is more close to the Messiah I am still far away so this is how we learn about him that he has exist. He changed us. We feel different. We see different. We think differently. You will go in the street. You see a person who is a Christian who believe in Jesus. You see how his face is calm. He is relaxed. He's happy. You go in the mosque. You see Muslims are upset, are angry, shouting like crazy. The devil is there. You know, uh, if you let me say just one, just one minute uh, about the Christians and how are they happy. I don't know. It's um, uh, it's um, uh, it's not me who can uh, judge somebody, but uh, you know, I have a friend when I was at, when I was at school, mm -hmm. I was studying. This my friend was very good, you know. I was, and he also uh, uh, come with me uh, get to the mosque, and after sometimes I realized that he he became Christian. You know, mm -hmm. he. Uh, you know, in that place, like Muslim countries, place and where uh, about ninety nine percent of people are Muslims, how it's how it's danger to become mm -hmm. Christian for mm -hmm. him. And he was about maybe I don't know, I, I, and, and I, I don't want to lie, I don't know, but he was very young, very very young, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and I saw how. How he suffered, you know, because every time when when all the Muslims, all the friends, all the classmates, and all the people, neighbors of him uh, get to disturb him, got something, just want to get for him some problems, he him or sometime, and he was very, very, you know, very kind. He never, uh, uh, he never was aggressive. Why well, don't know. So I don't know. Is the Islam is your religion of peace or other religion, but I saw really for my hair 
I'm okay. not. All right, uh, to, to you see, I will let you to make a question, or maybe I like question. I just no I just, problem, no problem. It's, you know, take your time. Uh, I, I advise you to read really, the Bible. I advise you to read the Bible, and yes, take your time. Just think about it. I just want to say. Yes, I just want to say that I really wish a lot of Christian who are really peaceful and uh, really really kind to other people. I don't know is if there are some religion of peace in these days in twenty one century it must be Christian. Yeah. All right. Thank you, my friend. I I I, I, I appreciate and, you and I pray. I pray and let's all the Christians here pray for this our brother here that may the Lord uh, 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 you know send you an invitation in your heart and bring mm -hmm. you to him and we pray even if you don't become a christian i say to you that the lord he love you and the lord he want to bless you and the lord he want you to be safe and the lord is not against you and he don't hate you he love every one of us christianity is not about jesus he love christians only god he love all those who belong to him and you belong to him my friend so i pray to the lord that he will save you and he will bring you and he will show you the truth Christian Prince, maybe he is weak. He cannot show you. Maybe he is he, is, he was not able to convince you. But I pray to the Lord that he will might open your eyes and bring you to him and make you have a new year and a new life and your family and you will be light in your family. So you bring more and more people out of the cult of Islam and you bring more and more people to the love of Jesus so we can have a peaceful world. <clears throat> Me and you and all the Muslims together because Jesus Christ is the word of peace which bring peace in our life, change us from inside. Make us a better human being. Make us the same as the likeness of God. He said, be good as your father. So my friend, I say to you, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord make you good as you are created to be. And when you feel you know, like you uh, want to call me and you want to say to me, I want to be a Christian, I will be happy to hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Just the last one. Lord. You told about this uh, pray and something. This, this, and uh, what I'm talking right now, nobody know about it. Really, nobody know. But I have some trouble some days ago. I don't know. Maybe it's coincidence. I don't know. I don't. So maybe it's coincidence. But I really get this, this problem after that. If there is some God, if there is Jesus, maybe he, he, you are really, really God. So just help me to solve this problem. And my problem really so maybe it's coincidence. I'm not talking that this miracle or something or really uh, or, or I don't believe, but this happened. And I'm just I will uh, I will search more search. I don't want to be uh, to to believe everything that's about everybody. I just want to if in here if he really a God, so I must find him by myself. All right, my friend. We pray that you will find him, and we hope that you will do very soon. All right. Okay. Peace. Take care. Take care. Good. Good applause. My friend, the Lord, He Himself, He said, "Knock at my door; I will open for you." The problem is that we wait for Him to come to us. We don't want even to come to Him. And he is the king of kings yet he is very humble all what he wants from you just knock at my door and I will open for you when you search for something you find it you see when somebody go to a nightclub because he is searching for a nightclub when somebody goes when somebody goes to a bad place he is searching for the bad place you go where you belong so depend what you are searching for 